Hi, this is A Closer Look, and I'm Sharon Miller Dombrowski, and I'm here with Hava Walther, and we're taking a closer look at Cornerstone Community Center. Hi, Hava. Hey, Sharon. How are you? Good. It's good to see you. Good to see other faces out in the world. Yes. So, Hava, what is Cornerstone Community Center? So, Cornerstone Community Center is what's going on in Hartford Village right now. It is, um, it's going into the old Elks building and it's creating a little bit of a, a buzz because there's a lot of work going into this really historic part of the Upper Valley. Um, and it's kind of exciting to watch. Cornerstone Community Center, a lot of people don't know about because it's, um, it started under uh, a little rural church in Hartford Village and it's sort of coming to its own now and grown up into its own its own space and what started off as a food shelf and some wellness um, activities uh, for the community is really grown into something that is actually going to fill 25,000 square feet in the old Elks building. Um, wow. So really exciting project. So what if I were to visit there what would I see? Well if you were to visit now what you would see is a lot of hard work and elbow grease uh, there are a lot of volunteers there and um, very highly skilled craftspeople there who are working on renovations. Um, there are two main parts of the building. One is a newer version and one is that beautiful classic historic part. Um, so different kinds of renovations are going on. Um, everything from in the beginning there was a little foundation work that had to happen to some updated windows. Mm -hmm. there. They have painted every single surface in there. It's pretty amazing. So if we were to go into the Cornerstone building right now, we would see a lot of hard work going on in there. Um, the co-directors who are, you know, technically retirement age are anything but retired. They are working so hard. They have painted every single surface that's in there. Um, and there are a lot of really um, amazing volunteers who have come in to help scrub and hammer and nail and some really, really dedicated um, uh, skilled tradespeople who have been in with windows. I know there are plumbers and electricians right now. Um, they have a full commercial kitchen and they just had a really nice Mother's Day fun drive to be able to, um, to, to uh, finish the last of the kitchen renovations so that they can begin cooking community meals there. So you would see just a hive of activity if you went into the building now, because there are so many different projects that people are bringing together and really getting ready to open up that whole building pretty soon to the public, which is exciting. That does sound exciting. So when you say open it up to the whole public, who is the public? Who would go there? Yeah, that is a really good question. One of the neat things about the programs that they've set up for the community center is that there's just something there for everybody. So for instance, right now, one of the things that's happening is the food shelf, which used to um, be run in basically a utility closet and um, just, just a small little space where they would distribute, you know, 1,500 pounds of food to 2,500 pounds of food a week, every week to Upper Valley residents all over the place. Um, 24 Vermont towns, 22 New Hampshire towns. Um, and out of this little space, they've been serving the community all through the COVID crisis as well. But now that program is moving into a big commercial kitchen with walk-in refrigerators and counter space and the capacity to be able to cook, cook community meals, which is gonna be amazing. So that's a program that will be open to anybody. Um, there will be, based on that kitchen, there will be a, um, a, an adult uh, culinary program for a uh, job training program. And that will be open to adults only, um, not for kids, but that's something that's going to be able to um, sort of feed, <laughs> feed the 
literally feed with food and with staffing uh, the program that's going to be um, in the what would be the old bar section and that's going to be a cafe a community cafe where people can come in they can get themselves a nice cup of coffee maybe a scone made that morning by culinary students um, uh, so it's for anybody of any age. Daycare students are going to be uh, coming in, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the fall after school program will be starting there. And um, those kids will be bringing life and laughter and bounce to the building. Um, hopefully before Christmas, the games and activity room will be opened up where um, any anybody of any age, but Probably mostly families will be coming in to be able to play air hockey, to have family movie night on a big screen TV, to have, sit and play in the Lego corner or ping pong. So those things will be there as well. The really exciting thing is that there's also something for seniors and for uh, retirees there. There's the seasons program where a lot of seniors in our community are not retiring people they are engaged people and uh, cornerstone has a lot of um, openness about being able to connect a really valuable resource being our seniors with all different age groups and being able to help them engage in ways and 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 connect with the community in ways that people really might might love and maybe they don't have a grandparent in their family mm. so there's a lot that's going to be going on i would hope and expect to see somebody of any age at the community center starting before christmas that sounds really exciting so you're saying that there'll be young children and school agers in um after school and there'll be food uh cooked meals and in, in the culinary kitchen and interactions between people of all ages at the community center well that's the goal because we're all part of the community um, the community center uh, motto is um, come belong and thrive right so the goal the mission really for the center is one of service to the community where if you build a place where people can connect mm -hmm then people feel their belonging and they can grow and thrive and it doesn't matter who you are in age in socioeconomic status in employment status we all need a place to feel like we are connected and that we belong and the plan is for the community center to offer real connection for anybody that sounds great. Based on what you're saying, I sort of see this in, in vision, kids coming after school and talking with maybe an older adult and getting some homework help or people sitting around telling stories or playing games in the activity center. Is that what you see? That's exactly what the, what the committee is talking about. That is the kind of vision that the committee is working really hard to um, to provide a place for that to happen. You have to build the nest so that those great community things can happen. That sounds great. Yeah. There's not a lot of places in the Upper Valley to have an event, whether it's a family function or a wedding or a conference. We're always scrambling looking for an affordable place for conference in the Upper Valley. What about events? Will the Cornerstone Community Center have an event space? Well, for anybody who's been in this building before, you already know that there is an amazing space in the Cornerstone Community Center. Um, we, most of us who are have been here a long time, have been to weddings, or if you've been here long enough, you maybe attended um, a prom at at the old Elks Building. Um, conferences, retreats, all of those things happen. And there's enough space in the ballroom at the Cornerstone to, to have a 400 person seated wedding. Um, it's a tremendous space and it will continue well, or will once again be rented out um, as an event space to the public. That's great. So anybody in the town, in the region could come in, see if the space was available for, for a certain event? Yep. That that's a really exciting attribute for our community. Another great thing about the open uh, 
event space at the community center is that uh, there's been a lot of, of interest lately from uh, agencies in the community who need space for education, seminars, um, staff retreats. So that's been another, a whole other segment of our community that really is looking for some place on both sides of the river, or I should say either side of the river, to be able to bring work events together during the day. So that's another exciting part about the event space. That's great. So will there be uh, Wi-Fi available and spaces where people could um, work or visit with other people? Is that a possibility? Absolutely. That's the kind of thing that uh, I would expect to see as soon as the cafe opens. There will be tables available for people to come like they would in any coffee shop and sit down and be able to uh, maybe have a Zoom call, maybe be able to uh, get their email sent while they're picking up uh, their kids from after, after school care at the end of the day. Mm. And so you were talking earlier about the culinary program. Does that mean that this, the Cornerstone Community Center will be doing workforce development in our community? That's exactly right. There will be some really exciting workforce development available there, particularly through um, culinary and hospitality, and also in early ed development. So because there is a after school program that will be on site, and right next door is the Potter's House School, which is a sister program, both under the same umbrella, the Potter's House School has a daycare center and a preschool program there. And there's the, um, the beautiful opportunity by proximity for senior volunteers or workforce trainers to come through and be able to, to um, apprentice or have those, um, those entry level skills really worked on in a, um, a, a quality childcare and um, an environment where education is really at the core of what's going on. Right. Well, as we know, when we have great early care and education programs in after school, it helps parents to get to work or get to school, which helps our economy. So that's pretty exciting. Lots of go lots of stuff that's going to be happening in the new near future. So can anyone go to the Cornerstone Community Center? Is it just for Hartford residents or just Vermonters? The Cornerstone Community Center is open for everybody in the Upper Valley. That is pretty unique in what we have for availability here. It's a, a community center where it requires nothing to belong. It, um, it's open to the entire Upper Valley and Bear in mind that we don't think about this very often. We've grown quite a lot over the years. That's 85,000 people who are within reasonable driving distance who could come and belong and thrive with their community at the center. Well, that sounds great. How do people learn more about Cornerstone Community Center or get involved? Well, it's really, really easy. One of the best ways to get involved is to find us online. Um, we're very much a digital world right now, particularly during the shutdown, and Cornerstone has some really good uh, information on its website, and that's at cccvt.org, or if you're a social media person, you can find them on Facebook or Instagram, and there's just a wealth of information there about the different programs that are going to be opening up. Um, if you were interested in volunteering, there was a call not too long ago for volunteers for the food shelf. Um, Pre-COVID, the food distribution was at that 1,500 to 2,000 pounds a week. Um, and a lot of that food, by the way, is home delivery to um, fragile seniors who can't get out, to people who are really medically fragile, they just really need to stay where they are, or families who are sick. Um, sometimes, you know, anybody who, who is part of a family has had a sick kiddo in their house knows just because you are out of milk doesn't mean that you get to run out to the store. Right. So, so Cornerstone has been doing that with their food program for 
20 years. So that's already going on. Now that COVID has hit, they have a lot more uh, and a lot more families that they're reaching, and there's actually a lot more need in our community. So, uh, so if anybody were interested in in contributing through that through that venue, that information is available online as well. I also will just put in that there is a huge fundraiser going on. The renovations for this building are not inexpensive, and there's a lot of history there to really polish and bring forward, and just really some some important modernization that's had to happen, like ADA bathrooms. We've had to have some ADA bathrooms built in there, and we've needed to upgrade some of the plumbing and some of the electric and some of the drainage. Um, and, and that's before anything fancy like paint or carpeting were to happen. So if anybody were looking to make a big difference in the opening of the Cornerstone building, I would say give give what feels good is it your time is it a contribution of money is it um, a will gift find out what feels good for you but this program is being uh, open to the community and we all have the opportunity to give and to be a part of this program so i would say however is comfortable for people to be involved, that's how they should be involved. So Hava, it sounds really exciting. I can't wait to see it. How can, under the circumstances, how can we get to see what's going on at the Cornerstone Community Center? That's a really good question. We're all having to be a little creative right now and we really wanna make sure that we can include the community in the development of this project and the opening of this building. Um, so one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be offering a virtual tour. Um, hopefully by the end of June, we'll have a nice virtual tour available. If you find us on Facebook, that's a really good way to find that tour, or maybe even just on the CCC website. Um, that will be, that's, that's my big clue and my hint for today is keep your eyes open for that because it's going to be really exciting to see some of those, those images. Oh, it sounds great. I just, I get so excited when you hear about all these initiatives and why people in our community can come together and at little or no cost or without a membership fee. And I just think of all the great things that can happen in our community. So um, it's wonderful news and I can't wait to hear more about Cornerstone Community Center and to see it and to get involved. So thank you, Hava.